Hello there and welcome to Complete Games. I'm James and this is my guide on how I defeated Solaris the Immaculate on V Rising. It's the final raid tier boss and I'm not going to lie, I did struggle with this one for a while. But it is a really great fight and once you get it down, it is possible to do. It's just, I would certainly recommend going in with as many potions as you possibly can. For this fight, I'm using Scholar Blood. This is going to make the... Chaos Volley more effective in this fight. It's not 100%, it's a 90 or a tier 4 blood that we're using in this fight. We've also got the Sanguine Coil just to allow us to get a little bit of health back and we're just going through the first stage of the fight. So this stage is pretty easy. One of the things I would recommend potion wise is to get yourself a Fire Brew. This is going to really save you later on in the fight because you take a lot holy damage but there's also fire damage as well that you sustain and I definitely recommend having that and uh, using any of the shards you've picked up from any of the other bosses if you've chosen to fight Solaris last. Okay so really it's a case of dodging his first tier. The first tier is pretty easy to get through. If you do get hit a few times just come back out of the arena and if you're using the sanguine coil you can get a little bit of health back. So, with the first stage of the fight, you've actually got your jump that you can use. I use the shadow jump, it allows you to jump twice, but it doesn't really matter which jump you use, you can pretty much dodge his end is nigh attack, which deals holy damage. If you do get hit by a couple of them, it only drains like 5% of your health. So we're just about to get him down to halfway, and this is where the fight gets a little bit more complicated because he summons the fallen angel now I immediately used my ultimate ability there I didn't actually need to do so just there but the main thing here is to concentrate on Solaris just try and dodge the divine angel because if you end up giving her too much damage when she gets halfway down she picks up some new abilities so you're best just to take care of Solaris and try and dodge her as best you can you can see there, I just got a resist as well. That's from that fire potion. I would have taken a lot of damage there had I not been using that potion. So it's probably one of the most useful you can use in this particular fight. So it doesn't matter if you tag the Divine Angel a couple of times during this fight, but get him down first and he's going to go into a shield ability. Then you can concentrate on her. So almost, almost down now. She has... Quite a few abilities she has a holy damage that she can do that spear just affects just in front of you but the holy damage she can do if she hits you with one of those it's, uh, it's pretty damaging again just there we go there goes the holy move that she used she uses four of those fireballs so if you see one of them holy damage fireballs coming at you just keep strafing to the left or the right to avoid it Got hit a couple of times here, so just use the Sanguine Coil just to get a little bit of health back there. Just hang back and try and get that Reaper over the top of Solaris and slowly chip away. Like I say, can hit the Divine Angel. Just trying to get a little bit of health back there. And here we go. Solaris has now gone into his shield form, so now you can concentrate on the Divine Angel. If you end up doing too much damage to her, in that stage of the fight, let's say she gets more moves. In the case of dodging these holy light beams that come down. If you step out the arena, I have actually restarted the fight a couple of times, so my advice is to just try and stay in this circle as best as you can. Now she's about to get halfway down, so she's about to pick up Solaris's ability. The end is nigh ability. There we go, there's them four fireballs. She always fires four at a time. So yeah, just dodge left or right. She does that. So she's halfway down now. And she's going to use this new ability. And it's a double end is nigh here. So you can dodge it. But again, this is why, as you can see, that potion is giving me that resist against the fire there. I really did resist quite a bit of damage. That's why I recommend coming in. They're pretty easy to craft, actually. End up with quite a few of them around the base by this stage of the game. So don't forget to bring them into this fight. 
So she's almost down. When you defeat the fallen angel, she comes to help out in this last stage of the fight. So really, technically, this is the hardest stage of the fight. Now, my key to defeating Solaris in stage three is do not jump unless he does. And got to kind of change your ability because it's very tempting to just jump out the way of these moves here and not get damaged there like that. But if you do and he does his jump move, he's going to knock you down and pretty much you're out, even at full health. So again, any way you can, try and get that Reaper over the top of him. Found it easier. Now there you go, there's the jump move. If you do get hit there, you're going to take a lot of damage. He's returning back to the middle, so I was trying, if you can, get the Reaper over him. Once again, use the ultimate ability. Don't get much back. I don't know which one really to recommend you for this fight. I've just gone with a full healing loadout here just to try and get as much health back during this fight as possible. Again, saving that jump move for when he jumps. I'll try and avoid the fallen angel as well because she's now on your side. Of course, very easy here to want to jump out of the way but if he jumps like that, you're out couple of heels in there with the sanguine coil and we're almost down so really really great fight this was very frustrating to get through I did find this one the most difficult of the three raid bosses again it's just dodge and DPS and Using one of the fire potions will definitely help you out there. But it's just training yourself at this stage of the fight. Don't use that jump unless he's jumping. Again, I know I'm going to take some damage there. But if he jumps, I would have been completely out of the fight. And there we go. Jump. Just took it really pretty close here. Again, that fire potion has saved me on this particular fight. But I've defeated Solaris a couple of times. I reckon it'd be good to mix it up. I'd like to try and use some of the abilities that allow you to reflect damage. Experiment around with them a couple of times. Go. Try and finish off with the Reaper. And most importantly, try not to get hit play any of these but yeah the most important tip just for the end there is you've got to avoid that new move that he picks up there we go Solaris the Macula the Immaculate best tips I have good luck and really enjoyed this fight looking forward to much more content from V Rising but until next time I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see you